I just want to make everybody aware of the homeless situation in Tank County. We all see homeless on the streets, in the plaza, downtown, and pushing shopping carts, carrying bags, and things like this. And that's kind of like a stereotypical homeless person. What we don't see are the families that we have living in Kent County, mother, father, children, mother, father employed, but cannot afford rent because their priorities are food, clothing, babysitting expenses, keeping their car on the road. And we have some of these individuals in um, the hotel up on Sheila Road, some of them in um, the Driftwood but the funds are so limited that maybe we can put them up for a week and then we can't put them up for a week. We have one situation where mother and children are living with friends and the father lives in the car. And you don't see those faces, but they're in Tank County. You don't see them, you know, because you don't know who they are when you walk into a business and they are employed, but they're still homeless. So that's the other side of the, that's the other side of the face of the homeless population in Kent County. And what we're trying to do is raise funds to help keep these people under a roof safe and um, just help them until they can get back on their feet. The rents are extremely high in Kent County um, and just about anywhere. So. It's um, almost $500 a week to be in, a, in the motel, but you have to save $4,000, $5,000 to even get a first month's rent, last month's rent, security deposit, and um, if, if, you, if you can even find a place um, to live around here. And I tell you, you don't have to be homeless to be struggling no, to find a place to rent in Kent County mm -hmm. because to find a place to rent I mean my wife's in the real estate business in Rock Hall she tells me she said there's not a, a week goes by that there's not a couple people stops in there do you have anything for rent I'm just going to address the good news there's some good news here um, even though um, everything is really in place for shelter we have an, an infrastructure of health to ensure we have board of directors, we have committees, we have a model to follow from the Talbot Interface Shelter. We have their assurance that they will come up here and help us set up a shelter. When I was here last year uh, in March, the big ask was a building. That hasn't changed. A building made a huge difference. Um, uh, the, uh, we visited the Talbot Interface Shelter four times. Um, I've taken Senator Gilchrist down there, several members of our board. And so um, when we when I was here last last year, um, I said I showed you a flyer for the launch of the shelter, a proposed six-month timeline. According to Buck Duncan, we are ahead of where he thought we would be. We just formed August 15th. We've 70 letters out to churches. We have $5,000, $9,000 promised, and a grant went in yesterday for 25K that we may or may not get. But um, listen to your radio on Sunday, WCTR. Sheila and I did an hour long interview with Jeff Ferguson that was really phenomenal. <coughs> it was on that morning program. But last year, my ask was for um, a building, and it hasn't changed. Um, we did go to social services, no funds. The Samaritan Group doesn't open until January. St. Martin's House and Barnes has 12 family units. They will not open to ch till January, and the waiting list for those closed in July. So those are already filled. We have no transportation from social services here to a shelter. And I guess the one thing that was most disturbing in looking into 11 shelters on the Eastern Shore, 
The Salvation Army is closed due to staffing. Most don't open till November and December. I talked to Midshore Behavioral Health on Thursday of last week. There is one opening for one man at one shelter. There you go. <clears throat> Kent County, Maryland Proclamation. Kent County Homeless Day, October 10th, 2024. It says, whereas the purpose of World Homeless Day is to draw attention to homeless people's needs locally and provide opportunities for the community to get involved in responding to homelessness while taking advantage of the stage an International Day provides. And whereas the commissioners of Kent County, Maryland, recognize the homeless population in our community and the need for resources and opportunities to improve their situations. Now, therefore, we, the County Commissioners of Kent County, Maryland, do hereby proclaim October the 10th, 2024, as Kent County Homeless Day. 